last year we got an office space. We're a distributed company. We're in five different time zones. Um, we work with a lot of different smart people, and we work with a lot of really interesting problems. But uh, one of the things that we do is we, we offer what we call junior engineering classes. And these junior engineering classes originally began actually in my house. Um, we started teaching them 17 years ago, and it was mostly our kids and their friends would show up, and we would teach everything from uh, mechanical engineering and 3D CAD design and electronics and programming, and then we have 3D printers, so we 3D print things, and we have CAD and CAM machines, and we would take care of that. And um, throughout the years, uh, the kids learned a lot. And uh, this is our last group. This was a group that went through last year. Most of those kids are either 12 or 11, and they um, had been with us for four years. Um, and they work on a variety of different things. This time they were building robots in order to make it through mazes. That was, that was the goal of what they were supposed to do. And there were a variety of different ways that they could solve that, um, languages that they could pick and such. Um, robots are a great way for kids to interact and to learn because it gets them excited about programming. Um, in the process of, uh, of um, the things that we just do, we heard about this particular group, the school. It's, a, um, it's an under-resourced school, and they were wanting a robot, robotic club, but they didn't have the funds for the, the parts or the pieces. And so uh, we donated several kits, robotic kits, that were um, from the Lego uh, line of kits so that they could actually have one. And uh, that same, the same person who leads that group said, hey, you know, would you like to, this year came to us and said, would you like to sponsor uh, one of our kids so that she can go to this, this event that's teaching young ladies about um, math and sciences and how to continue to get them involved. And so we ended up, we sponsored 10 people. Um, and we then decided to pair up with a group called City Year that deals with under-resourced um, schools. And we're developing a robotics program for them for after school in which we'll train all of their staff and, um, and uh, teach them how to teach kids and get involved with robots. Now, the reason that I'm telling you all this isn't so I can just tell you what we're working on. Uh, the reason I'm telling you about this stuff is because of this. Your commitment brings about others' commitments, uh, commitment in other people. And um, this is what's called a PITW. City Year is really into these, this organization. It's putting idealism to work. And they believe in idealism. And it's sometimes something that we will forget or we'll lose as we, as we get older. But, but they really believe in it. And their ability to believe in idealism motivates other people to try to get involved with their communities and with kids and push kids along and, and do something with kids. Um, so, um, so this story, um, actually for the robotics club last year, started with this, this young lady. She, um, well, let me tell you another story first. I've got time. So, um, uh, there's this kid out on the beach, and there's all of these um, starfish all over, the, all over. And they're picking them up one by one, and this kid is throwing them in the ocean. And this, this older man comes over and says, you can't save all of them. And she says, yeah, but it matters to that one that I just saved. And that's the idea of what they call starfish stories. It matters to one person that you can reach out and you can do something for. Um, the tech community in general, we are like, we are a group of people that in general are trying to figure out usually how to help people all the time. Um, we're, we're concerned about involvement of others. We're concerned about underrepresented groups. Um, and as I started teaching this group, some of you will recognize the young lady on the right-hand side is Jackie. Jackie was kind enough to send me a whole bunch of information of her working in places as her in Spain with a robot that she helped develop. And that was inspiring. It's not inspiring just because um, it's Jackie and the girls were excited, but their, their faces lit up. It's because imagine being able to work on robots in Spain and you being able to go do that. And kids get enthusiastic, or just the enthusiasm builds and they get super excited about stuff like this. So, the why am I telling you about this? Because we would like people to join us. All of us think about things. We tweet stuff, we write things, but it doesn't take a lot to get involved. It doesn't take much for you to recognize something that you know and just start like teaching a kid somewhere. So, we came up with our own PITW, because we're nerds, and ours is, to get anything done, you have to commit. <laughs> so the question is that. <laughs> <laughs>